Hello, this is Dr. Nalini Taneja. How are you all doing? Today I want to talk about something which is very close to my heart. It is something that I started doing I think very early on in my life and the person who influenced me to indulge in this particular habit was my father and that is the habit of waking up very early in the morning and why do I value my waking up before five o'clock so much in my life now the question is I think when and how do we start valuing things in our life is when what we are doing or what we have bought or what we have engaged in gives us enormous benefits it is then that we realize this particular thing this particular habit this particular investment this particular piece of clothing which I have bought I think I need to indulge in it more or maybe practice this more because I feel so better I feel so good I feel so rejuvenated when I indulge in this particular habit so today I want to share with you some of the things and I've taken notes about it that help me to go on continuing with this habit of waking up early I think one of the biggest things and the biggest advantages I experience by waking up early is that I get in the first two hours so much me time so much personal time without an interference from the outside world that that time helps me to be productive at another level altogether I usually try to get up between it depends it's usually between 3 30 and 4 30 <clears throat> and till the time the house wakes up and till the time you know you have to do the daily course of the house you need to prepare to go to work and all those things start to happen there is a good three hours between 4 30 and 7 30 there is this three hours of time which I can monitor I can plan I can organize things around it just for myself without being disturbed by anything or anyone this particular time has become sacred to me because it is at this time when i get up i do my early morning walk i'm not an exercise person i will not lie about it exercise is not something that i'm passionate about but i have made a commitment to myself that i am going to work out at least 20 minutes a day it could go up to I'm working on getting up to 30 minutes and eventually an hour a day so the first 20 minutes of my day after I wake up I do my prayers is and I do my abulations is take a 20 minute walk for my physical health for my better physical health that's an investment I make in taking better care of my physical health and it's only after that that I do something else now the thing about doing this is it gets out of my way I have achieved something that I don't like right in the beginning of the day so I don't have to worry about it so in terms of doing things that are important for me I take care of them early in the morning the second thing that I indulge is in my prayers they are very important to me they center me they align me to the real value of who I am they uh, kind of remind me that I'm a living miracle they remind me that I'm just but a part of that universal consciousness I'm just a, a divine being who is having a human experience so those early hours of the morning are just so conducive to be in that space so that's another reason I really value my early morning time the third thing that I have realized is that when it comes to planning my day when it comes to organizing my day I do make a to-do list a day before I sleep but early in the morning I'm able to really get clarity in my head as to what I need to accomplish how many hours it will take me to accomplish and also to plan out some activities which I know are going to be good either for my work or for my personal life or my spiritual life or my physical health my mental health so that time gives me so much clarity that I'm able to focus uh, totally on the uh, planning and organizing of my time during the day 
So this is something I think is absolutely beautiful when you wake up early in the morning. Another reason why I really value my early morning time is the fact that because I have set up a routine, I am able to sleep very much early. I tend to sleep by 8.30, upper limit by 9. So what happens is, because I sleep at 9, getting up at around 4.30 gives me a good 7.5 sometimes, 5 o'clock. Sometimes I also sleep earlier. Sometimes there will be days when I will sleep off at 8.30. Gives me a good 8 hour of sleep. I consider sleep a good night's sleep, a good night's rest, paramount to my good physical and mental health. I think we all underestimate the power of sleep. I think sleep is something which is so, so, so important to keep our health, our mind in a proper shape and condition. So I personally feel that in sleeping better, I'm able to wake up better and that particular hour that I wake up and this routine that I have set myself is in many ways responsible for me to get a good night's sleep. Valuing my early morning time also is related to the fact that I have observed one thing, that I am most productive in those three to four hours before the world um, takes over my agenda. You know, it's that that is the time that anything that is really pending, anything that I am not been able to do uh, for a while and not been conducive to, you know, really taking uh, decisions because I really lack clarity because I'm not able to, um, you know, um, uh, clear the mind of whatever I'm experiencing. The early morning hours are very productive in that way because just after my you know, uh, exercise and my mindfulness practice. This is what I'll talk about a little later. I am able to be align my thoughts. I get just tremendous clarity in the morning. And I'm like, okay, I have this situation in my life. This is a problem which is a bit challenging for me. What are the solutions? And it's just amazing how solutions literally land up in my lap. I don't know, has, does it have to do with the early morning routine or my waking up in the morning or the fact that it's very quiet or the fact that I have more clarity, but more often than not, I'm able to find out solutions to the challenges that I'm facing at that hour. Another thing that I indulge in early in the morning, and I'm very grateful that I've started that practice is that I try and sit quietly and meditate. Um, I don't know, you can call it meditation or you can call a mindfulness practice, but early in the morning, I spent nearly 15 to 20 minutes just sitting quietly. I focus on my breath. I focus on just observing my thoughts. I don't indulge and engage with my thoughts. I just focus on one thought coming, one thought going. And I become an observer to whatever is happening in my brain. I am a hyperactive individual. I am somebody who wants to conquer the world and do a million things at one given point in time. But this particular practice of meditation, of mindfulness on a day-to-day -day basis has helped me to calm my nerves a bit. I'm not jumping from one thing to the other, to the third, to the fourth. Earlier on, before I started this practice in the V hours of the morning, I was trying to do multiple things at any given point of time. I had this habit that I need to do, uh, you know, make the vegetable at the same time, probably write a book at the same time, and at the same time, take care of all my meetings. It doesn't happen in the realistic world. And also I have realized multitasking is really bad for you in so many ways and at so many levels. But this particular practice of just sitting silently, of just observing my mind, has been able to calm me so many times that I can't even come to express my gratitude for it. So these are some of the things that I have realized waking up early does for me. Um, I'm not saying it's everybody's cup of tea. I am not saying that um, I, it, it, it's something that, uh, because I also am very aware that everybody has different body clocks, but I'm certainly sure of this, it's worth a try. 
why don't we give it a try? It, I also just gave it a try, you know, my father, as when we were very young, he used to get up very early and he was like, you have to get up early. I mean, there is no, uh, you know, there is no, uh, your, uh, uh, your, your permission is not being asked. This is something that you just do. And uh, because he was quite strict, we, I just had to do it. I don't think I had a choice to say, no, Papa, I'm not getting up early. I want to sleep for an hour. One word from him and it was enough for you to get out of bed. So I tried it when he literally forced me to do that. And I remain eternally grateful to him for that. So um, I would probably suggest uh, as a good friend that try it out for yourself and see can you feel the magic of the early morning when you wake up and the sun is still not risen? Can you experience the joy, the peace and the calm that comes with early morning waking up? And if you try it, do let me know in the comment section how did it go for you? Uh, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did it uh, do wonders for your mind, body and soul? And uh, I look forward to hearing from you about this particular exercise, if at all you indulge in it. Uh, that's all for me at uh, Dr. Nalini Taneja today and I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you. Bye for now.